How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a few days since we've had our last course review on the channel, so I figured, you know what? We still got a lot of courses to go through. They are gonna slowly start dripping some new ones into the game. So let's continue our uh, our tour around the world. We find ourselves today in Jersey City, New Jersey, just outside Manhattan for our beautiful, beautiful day at Liberty National. This is an absolutely stunning course. Every time I watch it on TV, I, I, I eagerly waiting for the day that i might have the chance to play it you can see the beautiful new york skyline in the distance this is a par 71 7410 yards this was designed by u.s open champ tom kite and robert e cup liberty national is a parkland link style course with stunning views of lower manhattan so absolutely phenomenal golf course this one uh it's a lot of fun it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good test and we're gonna go in it as we continue down our list of professionals we have tackled up until my boy Hideki Matsuyama. So if you missed last episode, we were Joaquin Neiman. We checked out the beautiful par three course at top of the rock. And now we find ourselves with Hideki. He only has an 88 overall. To me, that seems like it might be a bit low because when he is on his game, he absolutely fires on all cylinders. And we're gonna go see what we can shoot with him out at Liberty National. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back. This is a super fun golf course. Um, again, pretty much on most holes, you're either looking at the water or you're looking at lower manhattan as you can now, see the world liberty trade center National down um, jersey city it's absolutely this beautiful statue of liberty EA sports coverage of pga tour golf beautiful beautiful Rich designs Lerner joined up in the booth by frank novello frank there's nothing like it early tea time to get the adrenaline flow such a fun also, course too, man the golf course is perfect you know less divots um you don't see any sort of marks on the green greens are going to putt beautifully yeah it's it's just a great a, design it's a, man it's a little bit softer it's got the moisture from overnight um it's, and also you know when they've cut the golf course there's that really green fresh you saw hole number it's one green. here we're going away from the skyline this time but it's so scenic you got all the the dock stuff over the left you just got the natural beauty of of jersey city i mean jersey city is actually a very nice sit like town like area i don't know what you call it i guess it's I guess it's a city. It's literally in the name, but New Jersey is actually a relatively nice, uh, nice city. It really is. It's it's. There's a lot of scenery. There's a lot of natural, beautiful um, sculpting land, and I think this course is built around that and fits around that really nice. And then obviously, like we we saw Rich Lerner and Frank Nabilo talk Down about the course, just the beauty that surrounds it. So. The third. Here we go. 52 degree. To the hole. Let's see it what we can do with Hideki. Left back portion of the green. A little fast there, but this one should be okay. It's hoisted Get way up in the air. In the air coming in Beautiful shot. Go in the hole. Oh, my nice goodness. So a fantastic shot start shot by Hideki. You got a wry smile out of him. Here we go. A birdie putt. Now you can see the skyline just barely over the hills there. So, so really, truly is just a definition of, a, of an all-American golf course. It's, it's that park style links you, you saw in the beginning. First part and there we go. Look at the rolling river. You got the, the dockyards in the distance. You got the beautiful looking grandstands that, that highlight all the signature holes. Statue of Liberty off in the distance there. I mean, they, they've nailed this surroundings perfectly. And that's one thing we talked about in Top of the Rock was this the scenery that kind of surrounds that golf almost felt a little... It felt a little clip arty <laughs> is the best way I described it. It felt like the trees were paper cutouts which I, I don't really understand why they did. Like, I understand that, go left. I understand that Liber or Top of the Rock is, is in, or, um, in the Ozarks, which is thousands and, and thousands and thousands of trees. Green, but, but if you're gonna do that, you gotta do it right. And so grass. far, just from the visuals, well, the detail on those buildings in the distance isn't anything to gloat over. It still has the detail. You still see the windows. You still see the top of the buildings. It doesn't look exactly like clip art. So, so far, comparing a city skyline compared to a, a, a forest or, or whatever, a woods skyline, this is much, much better presented and it's already gets you the feel that this golf course has, especially when you watch it on, on TV. They're always highlighting the beautiful cityscape of Manhattan and the the docks and the uh, Statue of Liberty. So, good little par there. Kind of a basic hole here. Nothing too too exciting about it. It is still very well designed. You see a wide fairway that quickly gets cut off as it rolls down the hill towards the green. No green side issues, really, other than if you flare it well left, you're going to land in the very tall fescue link style stuff. But precision is key here. I think we're actually going to club down because 
We're not playing to be super aggressive in a course review. We're just here to have fun. There's no point in putting ourselves in bad position. Hideki rips one with the three wood anyway. And we'll have a nice little uh, shot coming down the hill. Beautiful. If we took a drive there, you run risk of running through the fairway and getting into the rough. There's just really no need for for a driveway. Driveway? A driver on every hole. No need for a driveway, definitely, on this. So here we go. Club down to a 62 degree. Pretty good. A little bit of a miss hit is going to send a little more right. This is going to snap back, so we need it to stop spinning. Yeah, I just caught that hill, and this is going to bleed to the front of the green. So a little bit of a miss hit there. Kind of gets us on the wrong trajectory. Uh, that's a bit of a hit but tuna, not really. bad. We will still have a putt back up the hill. Distance, quite so far up the hill, actually. From the base right to left. Today. Let's just try and get it back on top of that plateau and just see if we can't get it close to the hole. Go in the hole. So hit the flag, or hit the cup, a little bit fast, so it didn't really stop it, but a beautifully designed green here. That is one thing I'm glad they fixed in the most recent patch, was the ability to have lip outs and lip ins and pop ups and all those things that would traditionally happen around a cup if you're putting fast or slow. So really, really fun to see that. And there we go, we're coming back on a beautiful par three, 205 yards over a, a gorgeous looking lake. Bunkers, grandstands, Manhattan in the distance. It's just such a fun looking par three. And truly, truly a, a well-designed, well-designed course, just all, all around. It's it is a very, very, very beautiful course. It can't can't underestimate. And I think the I think the game does a good job. I mean, one thing like all golf courses is they're obviously cut and, and managed to absolute perfection. There's you always hear the saying online: "There's no blade out of no blade of gra grass out of position here." But watching this course, okay. it's Safe one of those courses board. where you're like, it almost looks fake because of how good of conditions it is, is now i do believe that liberty national is a relatively new creativity. course i could be could be mistaken but if i but if i remember correctly this has only been around for not too many years so i'm gonna guess it's a private course i'm gonna guess that oh wow we had a horrible putt yeah just i don't know why i left that one way out to the right yeah, but that's good putt. That not bad distance a trickle down there nicely well but yeah, obviously tournaments are played here. Uh, it's probably a private so golf course. It's, it's very, very well kept. And, and in, when you're watching it on TV, that's the first thing you notice is just how perfectly yards, cut the fringes, best. the fairway, the roughs, the tee boxes, the tee or the greens. Everything is just so precise at this. And I think the game does a good job capturing that as you come back to this beautiful little river that runs alongside this entire length of the hole with a that is such a uh, scenic look there. You see a green here, a bridge over the river into another green. That is such well-designed placement. And it just lets the viewer and the golfer have things to look at, like such a scenic set of holes here. So I haven't been able to figure out Hideki's tempo just yet, and we should be safe because it is downhill. So it's still a great tee shot. 313 yard carry going just down that hill. This point, Absolutely pipe that one out there. And yeah, that is such a fun look into this green. Right Just there. being able to see so from that right shot right is so beautiful. This, this second. Very, very nice looking course. And what's cool is the grandstand that's through to the next green. If you're sitting there, you can see people playing on all sides. So yeah, just very, very well, well done. Sit soft. Beautiful, beautiful. We got to start making some putts, though. We've given ourselves to look at birdies a lot. They haven't been the most easy tap-ins, but this one's pretty straightforward down the hill, slightly left to right. Or right to left, sorry. Apologies. And we just blew that one through the break. That was a fast putt. So playing fast out there today, definitely, uh, you know, you heard Frank Nabilo and, uh, and Lerner there talking about going out early and having the slow conditions because of the moisture but not sure the game captures that exactly the way they highlighted it and we're uh, we're finding some very very fast fast greens coming down slight hills like that's very little downhill and that blew past it so all these little uh, man-made ponds that you see here uh highlighting this part of the course obviously we're we're kind of away from the water um that manhattan is beautifully built around Holy crap, that is such a weird backswing. That I'm just flirting with the left hammering the these, fairway. like, over swing and fast. Like, this reminds me of 2K speeds, but he really no doesn't have a fast tempo. It's almost weird. That That's okay. 
he is a professional. He has less mi hit, less miss hits than our created professionals. So still fast. And I felt like I just slowed that down as much as I possibly could. So yeah, this one is, I'm sorry, but I hit, I hit, I hit, I hit your right thigh there. <laughs> you saw the bridge in the background there just briefly. We will see a bit more of that because we're going to need to do a, a really soft flop shot here. So starting to, that one slowed down a little bit, but man, some of these shots, I'm just, Hideki's got a weird tempo, let me tell you. All right, down the hill, it is going to be fast, so I'm going to play less break than I traditionally would. Beautiful. Finally make a birdie here on the par 5. 6, 200 par for the day. 11 Liberty National. So tee box over the water. Left and right. A tee shot down the left side will open up the angle for the approach. Yeah, very unique bunker there on the right side. Very Just one big, swirly little bunker there. Another very gettable course. Very fun designed. And it is unique because it's it looks like a park course, but it plays very similar. This will be flare another one super fast, but plays very similar to link style courses. Very fast fairways. Can be How soft, you, you, you heard it, but fairway. for the most part, plays a little bit faster, a little bit firmer, and just offers the unique, From the fairway unique noted, views and visuals second. of a park course while having the roughs and the, the fescue the that you would find traditionally in a, in a link style course. Okay, so finally a little slow there. So starting to, starting to understand what I got to do to slow, slow it down for Hideki is well, a tap this in birdie. So another Before beautiful one. You see on the, the massive the greens that this course has. Bench. This is a monster of green. Can be some very interesting play, pin placements out there, but another beautiful birdie there. Three under the day. Having fun with Decky. There you go. There's a great shot. As you can see, the giant cranes and uh, whatever they're called, the big canisters. No. What are those things called? Storage crates that you'll see from on big ships that will, will transport across the world from there. These are got extremely loud for no reason. Yeah, beautiful shot there. That's where that's where all the big boats you would find, ships that carry all those canisters and and storage containers across the world. So great shot there. <clears throat> Both in visually, you can see them all in the distance, and uh in, in the hole here as you see the fairway. Very thin here. Very tight. I think that's what's cool about about this course is it offers very different holes across the entire course. You know, so we just talked the about the one fairway where it's almost impossible to, to miss and the green that's the massive. Five. And then I do not want to play a driver off the deck. And then you come to two holes later and you have an absolutely tight, tight, very long hole. And it plays totally different. But again, you can you can see the bridges off in the distance behind the green for the private properties. We just squeak this one onto the green. Gonna be very difficult getting it back okay, to the cup there, but not bad. Two, lots of lots of cool ways, things to look at here. Yeah, you can see the the entrance at the top left the there. That exactly not sure if that goes Rich. to the no clubhouse right now. or what that is, but a, a beautiful that beautiful circle. piece of property. And I think I'm gonna actually have to chip. Uh, I think I have to pitch this one over this break. If I aim outside the fairway, it's gonna fall into the bunker, or it's just not gonna go anywhere. So we'll take a, uh, a very unorth unorthodox approach here and pitch it off the green as we didn't land it soft enough and it runs off the back. But I mean, it's it's right there. I think the choice is bunker or that. So we can pop it, probably, probably chip it or putt it from here. Let's give this a whirl, see what happens. Again, this is just a fun video. Oh, it came off so weird. All right, so Hideki's not known for his Texas wedge, clearly being a bronze medal, but not bad. Kind of a missed opportunity on this hole, but we'll settle for the par. And we'll head to the ninth. And then the, the back nine is a lot of fun. Very, very, very beautiful vistas. Another great design here is you have to cover the water, and then there's another river cutting the fairway into two. So T-ball is crucial here. You kind of got to decide where you want to put it. I think we got to club down because it being downhill that could run we do not want that to roll into the river and we obviously do not have enough power to carry it through to the next fairway so this one should still probably get pretty deep down there such a cool looking hole no problems there that's gonna wind up yeah beautiful 196 to the flag stick so a little bit of longer club back in but 
Hideki is, is dialed for this. Let's see if we can't land this one here and finish the front nine at four under par. So fast with this man. You see the beautiful facilities in the background there. Yeah, that was a bad swing. I, I taken some of the responsibility today, just not not being the most dialed in with his uh, with his tempo. It's kind of kind of stumping me a little bit switching from pros to pros. Even that is fast, but great flop shot there. Set ourselves up for uh, a foot tap in for the par. And there you go. Okay, that's so we finished the front nine the at Liberty nine. National Golf Club. Three under par. We head to the back nine. Thirty-three on this front side. And New York, New York. There you, you go. See it all in plain, breathtaking sight here at this 513-yard 10th hole. It's the longest par four in the golf course. Big par four. Big dog leg right. Almost a full 90 degrees to the opposite side. Think again, we gotta be smart though. We don't want the risk of running it into the into the thick link style rough that they got going on all around. So we'll just take our medicine here. We'll kind of club down. It's still gonna be a long way down there. It's a long hole anyway, so you're expected to have a full wow, length club so going into this one. Good, 274 it? carry, and nearly rolled it to 300. So we will have rock. inside 200 yards coming into the flag stick. Set up in the fairway, club down, see if we can't get a seven iron. And you got all these iconic little bridges that get you over all the rivers. It's just such a beautifully designed, as you can see. I believe that is a campus. I think that is a school campus off the distance there. So just, again, I'm telling you, if you, if you don't know much about New Jersey, it now, is, pretty good chance for birdie. it's probably because there's not well, a lot going on there, but it is well, a very beautiful piece of land. Business. It really is. Like everywhere in Jersey is very, very nice looking. That's a weird putt, but we made it. That was an odd follow through. But yeah, New Jersey, like Jersey City is a pretty, four, long at least eight. outside the main it's hub, is very nice eight. looking. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous golf course in a pretty ball. beautiful looking part of, of New York. So, or I guess Jersey in this case. Okay, so we got a, line, a long, long par three, four iron. Tempo still just has not been figured out. Oh, catch a piece. Catch a piece. Oh, stop. So we could have actually clubbed down. Almost made a huge mistake. Yeah, Thankfully, it to stopped in that, that rough. This might be a be difficult long. shot oh, coming right. back. But for Hideki, he does have that gold medal flop shot. Going to add a little bit more loft to it. See if we can't land this really soft. Way up in the air. Uh, even that probably could have been clubbed up. With the flop shot. Um, all credit there, just not so this to avoid speed. a bogey. We really don't want to make any bogeys in this video, sure. but testy one going back up the hill, left to right. Uh, I'm happy that right one hit the cut because if it didn't, that was rolling past another another ten feet, feet, and that would have been probably an even harder putt so coming back 12, up. So little see, little sluggish here option. coming this down the stretch. Fairway. Accidentally but skipped that hole over, so not a big deal. Lots of bunkers. Side, this is such an iconic hole because you have the split fairway. So you decide we'll do another fly over here. You can see the the split fairway is unique. Then you have this fence right in front, so you're going over a a driveway. So cars can go right in front of you, but it is lower. So you don't even really see them when you're on the tee box. You're going over this fence with trees that line the property. So it is a private property into a split fairway is such a, this, this has to be one of their signature holes. I think you actually heard Rich Lerner say this is a signature hole and you get to choose where you place it. So if it's on the left side, the pins on the left side, you traditionally want to go to the right yeah, side of the fairway. If the pin is at the back, right, which it is today, to you have your choice. But this left side is much easier to attack it than going from the right side, which is Second a lower fairway, and you're going over all those crazy bunkers. So very, very cool hole. This is such an iconic hole for the golf course as we've underswung at this one quite a well, bit. It should good. still be really good. In fact, if I didn't underswing there, that may have been too much club, even for 62 degrees. So great shot there. This is a shade better than 50% on the make percentage. It's for birdie. Another birdie. 
absolutely dialed. So we're feeling it now. That is our second birdie in three holes. We are now five under the day as we go to another par five 13. And just a very fun course. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful hole on that little mini pond. As you approach the green, you will see the Statue of Liberty just off to the left. A big boat is actually going by right now. That is cool that they've added that into the game. That thing was actually moving. Just a really cool looking hole. Just absolutely beautiful. And if you if you weren't aware of uh, of Liberty National, you are now, guys. It's just a very fun course. And I've tempo off these drives has been a big struggle, and this is not going to be an easy second shot. And we get. I'll tell you what. That is a generous kick that, from the golf gods because that could have ended up in the bunker for a forced layup no matter what. Now we got this opportunity to get it there. We lend it in the very thin rough. Oh, I'm slow. Go. Come on, go. Oh my word. Even if it runs off, that that is a perfect hack shot out of that rough that i am thrilled with that that is a beautiful beautiful shot we just made there now we got a chip shot back up the hill left to right just to advance the ball so far down the fairway chipping this in for an eagle no not even giving it oh slow down okay so a little bit of a misjudge on terms of speed i thought that was back up the hill now this oh it was downhill past the cup so this for a birdie and this is not easy no, I misjudged it. Dang. From getting that second shot out of that position we were in with the hack shot and then just not even reading these putts right is a very big missed opportunity at a par five. We will take the par, keep the scorecard as clean as possible. We'll head to these last five holes and you're going to start seeing why this piece of land is in such a unique position. Look at this hole. 150 yard par 314 protected by bunkers, fescue and the Hudson River. Club selection absolutely critical here so not only as you heard learner say you got the bunkers you got the the difficult par three you got the the very link style heavy rough but right off to the right here you got the hudson river coming right into this golf course and you got these beautiful whatever they are fescue I don't know what kind of weed i'm guessing it's a weed it might be a flower but some weeds do look pretty cool highlighting of this whole hole this is their signature hole absolutely stunning par three right against the grandstands such a unique looking hole it really is i mean maybe design wise in terms of the par three it's it's not but just with all the this needs to sit roll back with all the natural design you'll see it when we make this putt coming back from the other angle every natural and thing here is so unique you got the river you got the boats you got the statue of liberty off in the distance you got all this crazy i mean i literally can't even see this so we'll change the camera angle slightly I actually might putt this there we go got a good angle here but that is so unique it's just it almost looks like those weeds are trying to hide your vision from the water uh, i missed it that's a tough cut camera angle there that's a bad putt and a tough camera angle tough hole really all in all back up the hill right to left it's gonna have to be a good one to avoid the bogey just such a fun hole. Yeah, good concentration there. That was almost a shank. I, I, in real life, I probably almost missed the ball with that putt. <laughs> Onward to the four hundred. All right, so we go away from the Hudson River a little bit. Come back inland. Beautiful par four, dog leg left. I love when they set up grandstands that just kind of frame the green perfectly. You got another one of those large squiggly bunkers on the left side. Back over the river. Back over the path here such a fun such a fun looking hole i mean if i'm an amateur playing this i'm probably hitting the post let's be honest here even even though i'm a pretty i'm, I'm an okay driver of the ball i'm probably hitting the post out of nerves but such just oh geez i probably should have paid more attention oh that's such a bad lie too i did not know the bunker was that shallow that's just a excitement of the hole and not paying attention gonna have to flight this 80. yeah Whoa, that is well, right in the wheelhouse of a drive of so a little bit of a little bit of a hiccup there and now we got a not the greatest lie in the sand it's actually kind of sitting down there this is going to take every bit of this eight iron to get it in go right go right go right ah so kind of a miss hit 
didn't play the the way the ball was landed. Well, was a so good strike out of the fairway bunker, not a great leave off the the, the, the tee box. Now we got to pick this one clean and get another another par just to keep the scorecard alive and clean. Pretty good there by Hideki. Yeah, it gives ourselves a beautiful chance. So another fun oh, hole, though. I mean, came through beautifully there. Good. In fact, I wish more tournaments were played yeah, at some of these schooler courses. Paul. I understand that the schedule is kind of set. You get one Boy, golf course a year, basically. This, been rock but this, this is such a cool, long, comes away with a cool piece of land, we man. This just really is. Like, look at this. Drivable, 325 drivable 325. Gorgeous par 4. With a Absolutely stunning par 4, really. Down the right side. You got another one of those little bridges that you found kind of all around, right in the distance there. You got a different look at a bridge halfway through the fairway there with, like, the, the path bridge. I actually don't think we need to power drive this. A normal drive will probably get us there and maybe more. I've hit it okay. It's a little bit slower than I've been hitting it. Just off the pace. We'll find the bunker. Not the end of the world. Come back down the hill. Uh oh. Man, okay, well, this might be difficult. Disaster the whole way, and it's gonna wind this up is going to require a beautiful shot. As you can see, the, the World Trade Tower, World Tower 1, or uh, forgive me, I don't remember what the new tower is called, but it's absolutely. I've been there. It's gorgeous. It's a huge building. Manhattan in the distance. Okay, pick. A little harder than I was hoping for. Okay, if you guys have out, never been in New York, I would highly recommend going to Manhattan at some point in your life. It is a, a fun city. It kind of looks like you're just walking down in a, a movie set because you go to New York and you see in movies and you're like, oh, that's New York. When you're there, it's, again, might sound silly to say, but it feels like you're in all these places you see in TV, all these places you see in the movies. And if you're even luckier, go to Liberty National because this course is... Gosh, I would I would love to play at this course. I mean, I'd love to play at legitimately any course that this game has to offer. Any course on the PGA Tour, for that matter. You see the Liberty, Statue of Liberty, just off that left hill there. It's just such a... Such a beautiful golf course. Wow, I am just seeking these bunkers as we found the weeds. That and now be tough in there. That is we have the heavy a good lie, but that's because bunkers don't... Or, to get out of this mess. Unfortunately, they haven't really dialed in the rough in terms of difficulty yet, but I've just kind of been following these bunkers and everything too much as we take a big old whack at it. Land ourselves within another birdie attempt here. The fans are loving it at 17. We got this putt and one hole remaining. Let's see if we can get to seven under for Hideki. Eight under, I believe, would be... Eight under would be the record during these course reviews. So we got one more chance here. Another par four, the beautiful 18th hole. Look at this. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Deep bunkers on the left and New York Harbor on the right, underscoring just how important accuracy off the tee really is. Unbelievable par four. Is This might be one of the most scenic par fours in all of golf. Now, you can argue that for Pebble Beach, you can argue that with any ocean course, any European course. To me, this just screams, I am one of the best par fours. I don't know what I was gonna say there, but look at this. You have this beautiful framed fairway. You got a boardwalk right on your right here. You got the harbor on your right with that beautiful glass uh, glass building you got new york skyline on your right to your behind you would be the statue of liberty you got these massive grandstands a beautiful designed hole oh there's just a full 360 360 degree vistas everywhere no matter where you look you're looking at something beautiful you're either looking back onto the golf course looking out to the hudson looking to new york looking at the statue of liberty looking to just the hole in general you're looking at the harbor <laughs> This hole is a ma Look at this shot. This might be my favorite shot yet in these course reviews. And that's including playing Teeth of the Dog out in the ocean. Obviously, those courses are beautiful. This is so... I mean, it literally just... The design is immaculate. That's all. I, that's the last thing I'll say about the design and how well this, sh this hole just... Beautifully, you can see the patio over there. A little bit of a long shot there. I thought it'd be 
I thought it would land way shorter than that, given it, it was uphill, but... Blazing. So, Seems unfortunately, I'm not giving myself the easiest chance to break my record on these videos. But here goes nothing. This is going to be a squeaky little fast one. I've hit it good. Oh, man. I've hit it really good. Another foot, and that would have that would have gone in for the 8-under. But we have that par to save a 7-under round. You see the bridges in the distance. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm fangirling a little bit too much, but okay, this truly so is one of my favorite 18. golf courses in this game. That I'm so happy that we got to experience it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, absolutely it is a beautiful, beautiful course they got there. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and support lately. You guys have been crushing it. There'll be lots more course reviews coming. There's some exciting, very exciting career mode tournaments uh, coming. We may or may not have just won our first tournament, so stay tuned for those videos. I appreciate the love and support, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll catch you back in the next one. Bye, guys.